right? You know, back then we're in a little bit of edifying video through Spin and Poppy out by Shimon Shah, Twitter Body Book that account. You know what I mean? Uh the body out by Shimon Shah. We let this uh collab together once again the spirit. And uh Leviticus chapter 26 verse 46 these are the statutes and judgments and laws which Jehovah made between him and the children of Israel that's right that's Lord Yahweh who you ignorantly call God that's the heavenly father all right through the spirit of his only begotten son Yahweh shot okay the statute laws and commandments were only given to the children of Israel all right and that's who so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans that includes the confusion of faces who actually go back to the seat of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? And who are Israelites, you know? In Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. That's right. In Mount Sinai, when the um, statute laws and commandments were given, no other nations were present, okay? That, those commandments were only given um, to the children of Israel, okay? This is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws. Which Yahweh Shimon Shah made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai. That's right. By the hand of Moses. That's right. Yeah, I know you appreciate that. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. That's right. He showed his word to who? Jacob. He showed his word to uh, Moab. Jacob. He showed his word to Esau. Jacob. He showed his word to Jacob, all right? And you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. No other nations were present. Okay, when he showed his statutes, laws, and commandments, you know? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's right, Israel, okay? You know? Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation. That's right, he has a, he, the Lord never gave his statutes, laws, and commandments to reveal any of that to any other nations, all right? Not you, not you doodle eating Africans, all right? Because we're not Africans, all right? Not you um, Moab, which is the Chinese, um, the Japanese, not the so-called white men, okay? What else, the, um, the busty Arabs, all right, Japheth as well. Dahe East Indian. Dahe East Indian. No other nation but you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the only ones who receive the statute laws and commandments. All right. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. That's right. No other nations have ever known them. Okay, because it wasn't given to them. Okay, it's only given to the, is the um, children of Israel. Okay. Praise ye Yahweh. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8 Behold I have set the land before you go in and possess the land which Yahweh swear unto your fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob to give unto them and to their seed after them right. just showing that you know even even the land but just not the land the promises and the law says his commandments is unto the children of Israel this comes from Abraham Isaac and Jacob man Jacob's right. name was changed to Israel. That's right. That's right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. That's right, O children of Israel. Listen up. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's right. You only have the Lord know. All right, you children of Israel, again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? We can't reiterate that enough because our people always like to say the word is for, for everyone else. No, but the Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel, all right? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why the Lord is going to punish the children of Israel for going off, okay? Because they didn't want to hearken to the truth, which the truth is only given to the children of Israel, all right? It's just like you have a child, you know, if your child going off with another child that's not yours, Whose child you gonna punish? Yours, right? You're not gonna punish that other child that's not yours because that child is not under your rules. All right, same thing with the children of Israel. The Lord's gonna punish you for not keeping the statute laws and commandments, going off, being wicked. 
Okay? Because he's only dealing with the children of Israel. Okay. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. That's right. Uh -huh. Right. Read right. that again, brother. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Right. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Right. So Peter and the other disciples said, We ought to obey the um, Most High rather than men. You know, because we're supposed to be Yahabashima Shah rather than men. But nowadays, in today's society, you got two thirds of our people obeying men rather than obeying the Most High. So we're supposed to obey the Most High in this word rather than men. That's right. Read on, brother. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah. Right. Yahweh raised up Yahweh Shah. Who, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Who the, Roman, who the Romans slew and hung on a tree, that cross. Right. Read on. Verse 31. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior and to give repentance to Israel. Right, so Yahweh, I mean, Yahweh um, exalted Yahweh shot with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to give repentance to the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Americans. So only you can get repentance from your sins. That's right. To add to that, repentance means to turn back away sorrowfully. Okay, so the Lord is allowing the children of Israel a chance to repent, all right, before all hell breaks loose, before it's too late. Okay, and that's how you know the Lord is only dealing with a certain people. This is on Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 50, uh, 54. And after these, Adam also, who made his thou mayest Lord of all thy creatures of him come we all that's right so we all come from Adam yeah you, you know you got um these Edomites always saying we all come from Adam yes yeah, obvious we all come from Adam let read on it says and the people also whom thou hast chosen that's right and it, and this is a seed all right that comes from Adam that the Lord has chosen all right Abraham Isaac and Jacob on down all right but Again, that other line, the Lord ain't dealing with. The Lord is only dealing with on the children of Israel. Again, that's right. One time, it says, uh, uh, "I'm gonna jump down to verse uh, uh, 56." As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. That's right. You other nations are nothing. All right, to the Lord. All right, as the scriptures say, so-called um, uh, white people. Okay, so-called Chinese, Japanese. Uh, do eating Africans, um, Don Hades, Indians, all right, you're nothing to the Lord, man. Arabs as well, okay? Because the Lord is only dealing with a particular people, okay? Yeah, we all come from Adam again, but there's a seed that the Lord, uh, um, a, a seed line the Lord is dealing with. The Lord right. ain't dealing with everybody, okay? These other nations are what, bro? Like, are nothing. Are nothing, man. Like, but be like unto spittle. That's right, be, be unto spittle. Spit, nothing, man. So that tells you right there, these other nations, man, the Lord ain't dealing with, man. Point blank simple. And also, Isaiah says it. It says, what, you got to This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Say it again, bro. All nations before him are as nothing. That's right, all nations before the um, Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, are nothing, man. All right? So all these other nations that's not the children of Israel, you're nothing to the Lord, man. Hey, let me skip down to this is verse 19. The oh, word. Oh, this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Yep. So you got our people trying to save these other nations, man. The Lord is saying these other nations are nothing. Okay, nothing unto him, man. All right. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Well, they're counted to him less than nothing. The Lord said these other nations are nothing. Then went to say further to say that they're less than nothing. Okay? So these statute laws and commandments are only given to a special people, man, right. in which the elect of those special people are gonna be um gonna receive salvation. Point blank simple. And vanity. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. That's right, and that word holy holy means separate, man. Alright, the Lord has a separate people that he's only dealing with, okay? And the Lord has chosen to be a peculiar people. All right, and that peculiar means strange, man. All right, we are strange people, man. These people look at us and wonder how we can run and jump, you know, cook, how smart we are, okay? Because we're, we're different from these other nations, man. All right. Unto himself, 
That's right, the Lord chose a separate people unto himself, okay? And that's what the Lord wanted to do. The Lord can do whatever he wants to do, man. Point blank simple. Above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. And that's a racist statement, man. The Lord has a separate people above all these other nations, man, on the face of this earth, man. Okay? So the Lord is a racist, all right? Point blank simple. Good precept. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the Lord chose Jacob, which we know is Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to the seed of your father. All right, the Lord chose you and you know set the people of bounds for, for, um, for your sake, man. That's All right, right. This, this world is for you. And these heathen are for you, man. That's right. right. So you shouldn't be acting like them. We need to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, man. That's okay, right. How about Shimei Al Shai? That's right, bro. Can I read that again? This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance. Yeah, the inheritance is their land, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, the land that Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai gave them. Go ahead. Right. When he separated the sons of Adam. Kind of so I can not cut you off, brother. But like you said, the last scripture, you know, we all come from Adam. So he separated the sons of Adam. Go ahead. It says, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Kind of, that's how you know the Lord's a separate, you know. He chose the children of Israel. He gave us our land, you know, the the land flowing with milk and honey. And then, you know, he gave what was left over to these heathen nations. Right. Verse 9. For Yahweh's portion is his people. Mm -hmm. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, just, just going back, back into what Brother Naquan said, we back about that Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Hey, that word holy again means separate, man. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are a separate people, man, unto the Lord. You know? Unto Yahweh thy power. That's right. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. That's right, to be a special people, man. You know? Unto himself. Unto himself, man. And above all these other nations, man. Okay, we were created to be rulers, man. All right, we were created to be separate amongst all these other nations, man. Okay? So we're a special people unto the Lord, Yahweh, man. That's who you ignorantly call God. Point blank simple. All right? Above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And again, that's another racist statement, man. The Lord is only dealing with a separate, um, a special people, man. All right? He's not dealing with all these other nations. We were created to be above all these other nations, man. Right. All right? And um, come soon, everyone's going to realize that, man. Right. Very soon, man. Yep. Any brothers want to say anything before we close out? I got one. All right, this is uh, basically going in on uh, basically why Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, you know, created uh, us to be uh, above all these other nations, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 115 and 3. For our God is in the heavens, and he does have done so whatsoever he pleases. Right. So it pleased Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai to choose the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be above all these other nations, man. That's like right. I made a video the other week, we are handpicked from Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai himself, man. That's right. You know what I mean? So if you want to get mad at somebody, get mad at Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai because he's the one that's done it, man. He do so wherever he pleases. And it pleased to him that you the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites to be a, pe a people to himself, man. That's right. Point you know? yeah. That's it. Y'all want to say anything? You, want, you got a precept? Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28, <clears throat> verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's right. So if we would have kept the statute laws and commandments the way we were required to, we would have been above all these other nations, man. But look at us, man. First one's fired, last one's hired. Getting shot in the streets, man. Shot down by these cops, man. And it's legal, it's being done legally, man. But because we went off, okay, we, it's a curse to us, man. That's why we at the bottom, all right? But that's about, that curse is about to be lifted up very soon, as you can see what's going on, okay, in the land of Syria. But, um, read, read that again, bro. That's beautiful. It's, um, it's 
says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations. That's right. Not to cut you off. That's right, bro. The scripture says we would have hearkened to the voice, we would have kept the statute laws and commandments, we would have been above these nations, man. Point blank simple. And we would have kept these statute laws and commandments, but our people want to go off, celebrate these uh, pagan holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, their birthday, Easter just passed. You know, our, our people are doing all these wicked things, man, falling behind these heathens. Okay? And we would have been on top. We would have been, we was created to be rulers, man. All right? I'm going to jump to verse 15, and this is the cause of us not, um, of not hearkening unto the word. It says, verse 15, Deuteronomy 28, 15. But if thou shalt, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to deserve and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's right. So we didn't hearken, obviously, because that's why we have all these curses on us, man. Okay, we have to go to our enemy for all things. We gotta go to our enemy for water, food, clothes, for a job, you know? Because we are we are um we are the curses are put on us for not keeping the voice, man, not obeying the Lord. Point blank simple. All right? Those are beautiful scriptures, bro. Anything y'all wanna say before we close out? Yeah, can, hey, you bring up, uh -huh. can you bring out one more scripture? Yeah, Exodus bro. nineteen and five. Exodus 19 and 5 reads, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed mm -hmm. and keep my covenant, Go ahead. then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Kind of, you know, and that's um that's shortly gonna come to pass when Yahweh Shema Shai puts our laws, puts his laws in our inward parts, you know. That's gonna that prophecy is gonna come to pass and we actually are gonna be physically above, you know, in rulership and things like that. That's right. That was just another precept backing you brothers up. You know? I appreciate that, bro. You know, straight yep. to the point, you know, we're about to get in rulership right That's at the end right. of this thing. That's right, hey. Anybody watch this video, so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, confusion the face that goes back to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, you better repent before it's too late, man. You see all these prophecies coming to pass, man. Okay? You got a valley Jehoshaphat heating up, you know, all these prophecies are speeding up, man, because the Lord's getting ready to send his only begotten son to destroy this bitch called America That's very right. soon, man. Right. We're looking forward to it, man. Okay? So with that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. Yahweh Alright, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us one to percent truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the hockey out there pushing the truth across four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom.